Now today we're going to talk about a very common problem facing old car restorers and that's leaking and rusty gas tanks. You see fuel tanks rust from the inside out as well as on the outside. The reason for that is as the fuel is pulled out of the tank by the engine moisture laden air goes in to replace it and then the moisture condenses out in the fuel and causes the tank to rust from the inside out. Lucky for us, Eastwood makes a system that allows us to seal the tank and make it as good as new. But first of all, you've got to get the old fuel out and get the tank out of the car. Now, to get the fuel out, often there's a plug at the bottom that you can take loose and then just drain the fuel into a waiting receptacle. But if your car doesn't have one of those, you can get one of these siphon hoses that will do the job just fine. You merely stick one tube in the tank and, and, and the other into the receptacle and start pumping. Now don't take a hose like this and just suck on it to get the fuel started because it can get into your mouth and gasoline is quite toxic and it can burn the tissues of your mouth. Now the next thing you need to do is to get the old loose rust out of the tank and to do that I like to pour in a can of nuts and bolts. Now you could use pea gravel but the problem with pea gravel is it can give off little flakes that can get into your fuel system and mess it up. I'll just pour these in here. Okay, after you put in the nuts and bolts you want to use some Eastwood's metal wash and hot water to help clean the tank further. Just put the water up here and put in five teaspoons of the metal wash. Now we'll just stir this up to make sure it's mixed properly. That should do it. We'll put our funnel in here and pour this mixture into the tank. Just about does it right there. Okay. Now we'll take out our funnel and make sure our tank is really dry because we need to duct tape over this hole to uh, keep the uh, mixture from sloshing out. We need to slosh all up in here too just to uh, make sure we get all the rust. Okay, that should do it. And then all you need to do is kind of work your tank like a cocktail shaker and just slosh it around and get all the loose stuff broken loose in there. Do that thoroughly on every surface. And uh, then we'll dump the water. Okay, after you've sloshed it on all the surfaces to make sure you've broken the rust loose, you want to pour the water out. And you just keep repeating this process until the water runs clear. As you can see here, we've still got a lot of work to do. This is pretty messy. This tank is pretty cruddy inside. Next, we're going to pour in a quart of muriatic acid and that can be found at hardware stores and swimming pool supplies. Be careful with this stuff, it's kind of nasty. And then you want to slosh this around just as you did with the other stuff and dump it out and then let the tank dry again. The next step is to pour in some of this Eastwood rust remover. And that gets all the rest of the rust out that we didn't get out with the first two processes. Now the final wash is with acetone. You want to put in a quart of acetone and slosh that around for a bit just to make sure you have absolutely everything out of there. By this time your tank should be down to nice clean bright metal. Now the final step is to pour in this Eastwood gas tank sealer. It resists alcohol and fuel boosters and it'll seal all the little pinholes in your tank and make it last for years. We'll pour that in, slosh it around, put on a thin coat and then dump it out. Now you'll need about three containers of this to do the job completely. The last step is we're going to paint on some of this cold galvanizing compound. It contains real zinc and will protect your tank for years. 
As you can see, you can restore your tank in a weekend pretty easily using Eastwood products. It's really quite simple.